Both drivers are ready. The judges are ready. Three, oh, one, and off we go. Fun up hard. Reckoning going to the side of low blow, also inside of its weapon. It's training on edge. He tries to take advantage of it, hitting into the armor on the side. That big spinning bar on low blow hitting the steel wall as Reckoning tries to drive him into the hazard, up into the air, nearly puts him over the wall as he spins around. Low blow upside down, doesn't have his downforce that he's used to, and the weapon is kind of above his opponent now. Not a good position for him. Reckoning relentlessly going after him, now flipping over himself as he hits the red hazard. So they're both upside down. Both still driving. Neither one's weapon going to be nearly as effective. Low blow, a little bit too high to do much use. And Reckoning, weapons driving down instead of up. Not what he wants. But he can still do a fair bit of damage. And either one could end up back on his wheels in a moment. Especially Reckoning, and there he is. He's right side up and ready to go again. Hitting into the back of Low Blow towards that blue pushout area. Wearing, a, wear, wearing away at the back side of Low Blow, who now seems to be getting a bit jammed on the ground. Possibly because he's not riding on the part he's supposed to be as he grinds away at that titanium armor. Now getting onto the frame pieces that are at the top. Trying to hit him against the walls here, but also trying to make sure he doesn't put himself accidentally into that hazard. Grinding away at the titanium armor at the backside of Low Blow. Heading for that red pushout area, but Dirk getting out of the way quickly. Doesn't want to go out that way. Reckoning pushing him, he's actually quite a tank even in this form, but so is Low Blow, who's now getting hung up on something on the floor, gets loose, keeps moving. I can see a few screws running around there. Reckoning trying to put him towards that blue hazard. There he goes, towards the outside edge, almost gets him over, but Dirk fighting back valiantly, and has ended up riding him. He's now riding on top, almost riding him, flipped him over, but stays in. A minute and 10 seconds to go as he grinds away at the frame. The belt has come off of the weapon of Low Blow. Completely cut it, so that's not going to work anymore. Now he's just a big chunk of metal driving around with lots of armor. Flipped upside down. The armor starting to come off one side of Low Blow. Reckoning doing what the name implies. One minute left as he's trying to take Low Blow to pieces. But Dirk's still in this fight. Still a capable pusher. Either one could end up out the side or broken. 45 seconds. Reckoning trying to go for the red pushout area. Hitting into the other side of the armor on Low Blow now. Trying to rip that side off. Ramping up the speed, using what battery he has available to him. He's only got three, 30 seconds left in the fight. He wants to get the biggest hits he can, and then another one. Both sides of the armor starting to come off on low blow. Still driving. Doing the most it can. Starting to show some damage. 20 seconds. Caught against the red hazard as Reckoning comes in for another blow. Peeling apart that armor on the side. 10 seconds. Bouncing off the red hazard. Almost goes over the wall. Grinding away at the blade. Four, three, two, one. Time is up. That's the end of the match. A good job to both Brandon and to Dirk. Reckoning doing some serious damage, but low blow taking it for the whole three minutes. And this is going to go to a judge's decision. Damage, aggression, and control. And we had a lot of all three of those. Definitely some damage in there. And both competitors being very aggressive. So our three judges will have to decide who gets to take the first prize and who will have to settle for second. Low blows armor off on both sides, the weapon belt broken and yet still driving, doing a great job holding up against it. One moment here while our judges are deciding. If you like seeing that kind of action, you can see a lot more of those big hits on our website, kilobots.com. And it's unanimous. The winner will be Reckoning. Congratulations, Brandon. That is a vicious machine, and it certainly did its job against Low Blow.